That's what the pin looks like. And it comes in from this way here. You'll have a grease fitting that goes in on the end. The grease fitting is accessible from the back side because once the rim is on, uh, the drum is on, you won't have any way of having access to that. So that kind of tells you which way that goes on there. Uh, and it just goes into place. through like that. So here they're in, you see these little flat grooves at the end. There's another flat groove in there and then that, that bar just slides in between them and locks it into place. And then they can't come out either way. They shouldn't be able to ever fall out down the road. I, I really think that somebody just left them off, but who, who knows, you know, anything could happen, I guess. So we're just gonna get this hub cleaned back up, clean up the brakes that haven't, they really look like they've never been used. So it really looks like whatever the last brake job that got done, it uh, just didn't get put back together right. Get it going faster before you do that. Remember my first gear, I couldn't before, oh. so. That one went right in. That one went good. I doubt you'll be able to get it to the governor here. Right there, but well, that was better. Put in 
start checking your brakes here for me. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't hear any growl back there from the rear end. Okay, I just finished up with this Silversides bus here. Um, it's it's done for now. The the brakes work great. Amazing improvement for him. Uh, he had a few other issues. Obviously, that uh, the rear end we replaced the yoke on the the differential there. Uh, he's gonna have some future work to do on getting a new ring and pinion for that. Um, yeah, the front brake. Somebody they must have left out those real pins. The last time that he talked to the previous owner, he had it in the shop to have brakes done. It was 20 years ago. So let's say that those front pins have been missing for 20 years on that bus. <laughs> Um, but he knows how to do it. We went through, he did all the brake adjustments today. The brakes are great. He had a problem where the transmission was jumping out of gear. Uh, and we addressed that by just re adjusting some linkages, replacing some of the uh, pins, 
uh, on the on the clevis pins for the transmission linkage, the shift linkages themselves, uh, and that fixed that. So I'm gonna head out here. It's my next job in Michigan tomorrow. I'm going to a place where he's got two Cena Cruiser buses. So uh, the uh, the two story 1950s Greyhound uh, GM buses. They're really cool. But on the way there, I'm gonna go out of the way and stop and pick up that four valve head that's gonna end up going on my bus. So I'm gonna go pick up that head in the morning and then go to the next job with the Cena Cruisers. So finished up here. Just gonna stay the night here where it's it's pretty quiet out here and then uh, head to the next next job tomorrow.